just uh, working on the new satellite. No way! Is that ping pong? Well, it's gonna be, but I'm really good at reading instructions. I'm not so good at putting stuff together. Huh, that's weird. I'm good at putting things together, but not great at reading directions. <gasps> what if you put it together, I'll read the instructions, it'll get done in no time, and then we can play a couple games before you have to work on the satellite. I don't know, I've gotta get the satellite up for Ray and Luke. I'll sing the instructions. Okay. <laughs> what do we got? Number four, turn the nut counterclockwise, make sure that it's tight. Number four, turn the nut counterclockwise. Hey, can you keep it down? I'm trying to sing. <clears throat> Number five, make sure that it's large and keep the net on tight. Uh, <laughs> You're a great singer, but I can't think. Well, I can't get any better unless I practice singing. Hmm. Maybe we can work together. C figure A, C figure A, what? C figure A, C figure A, what? C figure A, C figure A, what? Now it's break to the guitar solo. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Dot, and this is how we solve the problem of too much talent. Dot. Sorry, uh, didn't see you there. Um, are you juggling? Sorry, Luke. Yeah. I'm learning. I'm not very good, though. Oh, well, you know, give us some time. Well, why, why, why are you juggling? Everybody around here has a lot of talent. Mike is a good singer. You're great at keeping us safe. Maurice is great at building things, but... What do I do? I'm just... Dot. Hey, you have many talents. Oh, we're getting a call. It's 
from our field office in Austin. This is Field Officer Hanson, reporting from Austin, Texas. This here's Kylie. Now, she is a crazy good songwriter. Oh, shucks. Oh, seriously, so talented. But, well, here's the rub. It's cool when people like my songs, but it feels like I'm showing off if I play for other people. If I'm a humble follower of Jesus, shouldn't I keep my music to myself? Only play my songs for God? We're in quite a pickle here, guys. Can you help us? I wish I could play guitar like Kylie, or sing like Mike, or do anything. God gave us all things we're good at, and it's up to us to figure out how to use those talents to help serve others. You'll find your talent, and you can use what you're good at to give God glory. <gasps> that sounds like a good point link mm -hmm. for Kylie's problem. Yep. Yeah. The point link is, use what you're good at to give God glory. Point link acquired. Let's go look for other links. Yep. Yeah, I'm winning! I didn't want to have to do this, but I don't have a choice. What is that? Super Paddle. My sir. <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, want to play ping pong? Yeah, I thought you were supposed to be assembling the new satellite. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll get right on that. Uh, no, it's my fault. I'm the one that distracted him. I'm sorry, Luke. It's okay. I forgive you. We got a field report. Kylie from Texas isn't sure if using her talent as a songwriter should be shared with others or just kept to herself. Yeah, she thinks maybe she should only sing to God. Hmm. Figuring out what God wants us to do with our talents is important. There's a verse in the Bible in the book of 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. Say it like this, 1 Peter 4.10. 1 Peter 4.10. Each of you has received a gift. Each of you has received a gift. In order to serve others. In order to serve others. That's a great verse. The verse link is 1 Peter 4.10. Verse link acquired. Uh, Mike, do you think maybe that you could uh, put this ping pong stuff away and, you know, Maurice, do you think that you could get started on the new satellite dish? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Maurice, out. Bye, ping pong. Pug! I can't get the hang of this! Give it time, your talents will show. I guess. Hey! That's it! You're a genius! I am? Mm -hmm. Talent show! We should have a talent show right here at Connect HQ. We could get Kylie in too. Everyone can share their talents and encourage each other at the same time. Dot, you are a genius. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. No, there's no way our satellite will be able to handle that. The new one can handle it. I'll have to make some modifications, but it's got the bandwidth, no problem. Yes! Cool, Maurice. And thanks for using your talents to serve others, not just serve yourself. Or to serve ping pong balls and me. Uh, can I sing in this talent show? Oh, definitely, man. I can solve a Rubik's Cube crazy fast. Cool! Whatever your talent, you should share it with others. You're right. It reminds me of the Bible story about talents. Check it out. This is a 66 picks mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's alive, a prize to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement It's history, his story, whose story, God's story Oh, the story of how much he loves me Let him know up all the pages that this show gone on Let his word explode from this video into your life 
Once upon a time, there was a man about to go on a journey. This is a story Jesus told called a parable. This man had three servants. Before he left for his trip, he called them to watch over his money. To one, he gave five bags of gold. Ah. To another, he gave two bags. Yahoo! And to another, he gave one bag. Woohoo! After he did this, the master left on his journey. The man who'd received five bags of gold immediately put his money to work, gaining five more. The one with two bags did the same and gained two more. But the man who'd received the one bag of gold left, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master returned to collect his money. The man who had received five bags of gold returned his gold first. Master, you've entrusted me with five bags of gold. I've gained five more. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. Now, I will put you in charge of many things. The man who was given two bags came next. Master, you've entrusted me with two bags of gold, and I've gained two more. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. Now, I will put you in charge of many things. Then the man who had received one bag of gold came. Master, I was afraid I'd disappoint you, so I buried your gold. Here it is back. You wicked and lazy servant. You should have put my money in the bank so I'd at least get interest back. Huh? I'm sorry, my servant, but you are fired. We have no use for you here. As I've said before, whoever is faithful with a little will be trusted with a lot. You were not faithful with a little, so I cannot trust you anymore. This was the parable of the bags of gold. We must all be faithful with what God has given us, because it all belongs to Him. If you do that, you will surely be blessed. And being blessed by God is the greatest it can get. The end. Wait, why is this called the parable of the talents? Well, in this parable, they called money talents. So, whatever God has given us, we're supposed to share it with others and praise Him at the same time. Yeah, that's right. We're not supposed to bury our money or our talents, and we're not supposed to use our talents for our own gain. Isn't it weird how the word for money is talent in the parable, but today, when someone's really talented, we say they're money. Isn't that weird? Oh, right, I'm still here. I slept on a ping pong ball! Moon press C to select seconds and minutes and hours AP 12 hours and 24. Nope, that's not working. Nope, that's not working at all. What anything. are you doing, Mike? I am trying to find an instruction manual to sing for the talent show. Uh. What are you doing? I'm trying to play a washboard. I thought maybe this was my talent. You know, um, talent shows are about people performing skills that they've practiced, but talents are much more than performing. What do you mean? Well, some people make everyone feel welcome, and some people help others without being asked. Do you know anybody like that? What? You mean me? They're gifts from God, and they're talents that should not be buried. So, with that in mind, are you ready for the talent show? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes! Solo! I don't know how to play that thing, so this really doesn't count. It's ready. Let's do it. Okay, guys, let's get this show on the road! Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're taking the show on the road? No. I meant it's show time. Sorry. Let's kick this off with a report from Kylie, and we'll set the stage. Hey, HQ. Kylie says she wants to use what she's good at to give God glory. So, we're ready to jam out. 
I sing because it's true. All good things say come from you. So what else can I do? But give them back to you. Thanks, y'all. Wow, that was amazing. Okay, next we're gonna show some of our talent right here at HQ. Not just singing, Dot. Singing instruction manuals. Sounds great. Turn a sixteenth quarter turn. Make sure recess scrum it is flush with the non recess and vice versa. <laughs> Love instructions. I can sing it in Spanish oh or in German. Oh I think that's all the time we've got. <laughs> Great job, everyone. We have so much talent here at HQ. Wow, that was awesome. You guys are all so super talented. I hope Kylie can see how we can all serve God and each other when we use our talents for Him. Why so glum, chum? I'm bummed that I never found a talent to share. Are you kidding me? Uh, uh. If it wasn't for your talent of vision and encouragement, we could have never put on a talent show. Really? Yeah. You made it happen. You talked to Kylie, you encouraged me to finish the satellite, and you kept the show going, and you made everyone feel great about their part. That's very important. You are super talented. Wow. Thanks, guys. I hadn't thought of it that way. I'll put together the connection transmission for Kylie. <sighs> so, anybody want to play ping pong? All right. But I caught Super Paddle. What? No, no, no orderly fashion it. in an orderly fashion. No, it's mine. I made it. Got an answer back from HQ. Here, watch this. Hi Kylie, it's me, Dot. We found these links for you. The Bible tells us this in the book of 1 Peter. 1 Peter 4.10 Each of you has received a gift in order to serve others. God has given us things we are good at for a reason. To serve others and bring glory to His name. Just like the parable of the talent teaches, we shouldn't hide what God gives us. We should use our talents to serve others and make God's love known. I was afraid that I didn't have any special talents, but I learned that God gave me the gift of encouragement to help others see their talents. The talents and special skills that God gives us aren't meant to be hidden or make us look good. We can use them to show how great God is. Use what you're good at to give God glory. Thanks for your question, Kylie. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Very cool, I get it now. Thanks, Connect HQ. Well done, Dot. Well done. You got a rare talent. <laughs> now that was corny. We have a mission to show God's love to the world and lead people to follow Jesus. 
but we can't do it alone. We need support from people with unique gifts, just like you. If you've never decided to follow Jesus, you can make that decision today. To follow Jesus and help us live out God's mission, all you have to remember are the A, B, C's. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make that decision today, be sure to talk about it with your Connect Small Group leader before you leave. Birthday? Did you get some gifts? How about some money? About $100? Oh, uh, please don't. I guess we're writing on the screen there. So there's that $100 we were talking about. Whoops, too many zeros. Far too many zeros there. That should just be a one and two zeros for a hundred. Okay, wait, come back. I'm sorry, do you still have that marker? You could help me teach how we can honor God with the money that we get or earn. All we have to remember is give, save, spend. If we have $100, the first thing we're gonna do is give by taking out a tithe. Tithe is another word for 10%. The Bible tells us in Proverbs that tithing is something we should do to give back to God part of what he's given us. So 10% of $100 is... Don't worry about the math, it's $10. Whenever we get or earn money, we'll be wise and give 10% to the church so they can use those resources to keep helping people. Exactly. I like your draw. Well, hold on. We're not finished. Welcome back. We can't forget about save. Next, we'll take some money and we'll save it. The Bible tells us to be wise with the money God gives us. Saving some of our money for the future is smart. We'll put some of our money aside for a rainy day. That's just another way of saying putting money aside for emergencies. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to spend it on a rainy day. What are you, uh, oh, I see. Is that a cloud and rain? Yeah. A lightning bolt, two lightning bolts, three bolts. Uh, that's too much lightning. You're losing control here. Okay, are you all right? Ready for the last one? Good, now we can talk about spend. Once we give our tithe and we put some money aside, the rest of the money is ours to spend. But we shouldn't be unwise with our spending money. Before you spend your money, stop and think. Do you want your money to go or do you want your money to grow? So you could buy a bunch of candy, but does that seem wise? You could spend some of it on candy and maybe your brother's birthday present and maybe save the rest for later. Being wise with the money that we have is a great way to honor God. Thanks for helping me out. And don't forget to give, save, spend.